time for Jesse Burns. Matador pick of the pen. That's right, Craig, and tonight it's no other than the one and only Bad Beagle. Matt Sharpen brings a bull to town that will stand out in a herd, even of this caliber. He's fully capable of putting up 45-plus point bull scores, and he's no stranger to matching up with Jose Vitor Leme. These guys have had some successful outs together, and the last time I seen it, it went all Bad Beagle's way. So tonight, as everybody has already, Jose's got his hands full, but... Uh, I look for this to challenge Marco's 94 for the round. We're showing Jose Vitor Leme in Albuquerque tie at your event. The only time these have paired up and Leme has found success. But to Jesse's point, if a ride like that happens here at the World Finals with all the implications, this could be huge. Well, this is big and you know, I feel like this guy is, is the total package. He's, I'm telling you, this guy is really, really good. I don't think it matters which way they go, and I don't think it really matters what type of bull he has. I think right now this guy is the most complete and most capable bull rider that we have. A chance for Lemmy to continue to define his legacy. Check that out, Las Vegas! Jose Vitor Lemmy cannot be stopped. Bad Beagle bested, and Lemmy is going to love this. 91 points. That was huge. Bad Beagle looks left, back to the right. That's the trip that he's bucked Lemmy off in previous outs. This is such a good ride, great ride, but in the moment that he's doing it in, this is the biggest ride of his young career. He is now a perfect eight for eight over the past two world finals, Ty, and for Leme to do it against Bad Beagle on a night like this, right before we watch our world number